Almost a third of the Dominican Republic's people are in poverty, and that means millions of children go without. Now the Bob River Show on KZOK is teaming up with a local charity for a radiothon this coming Wednesday to help some of those kids in the Dominican Republic who go without the things that so many of us take for granted every day. And joining us now is the Bob River Show director, Eric Corman, and Spike O'Neill, who co-hosts the Bob River Show. Let's jump right into the radiothon, you guys. How did it come about? Well, we wanted to emphasize the world in World Vision. Last year we were in Ethiopia, this time we wanted to go to the Caribbean, to the Dominican Republic, where the need is almost as great and it's in our own hemisphere. We wanted to do something closer to home. How do you guys go about and pick the places? Well, at first we were going to go to Haiti. Haiti is the worst poverty in the entire Western Hemisphere. But the situation was so dangerous there. They have people running around with guns in the capital, kidnapping people. They couldn't guarantee our safety, so we yeah. went next door to the DR, where the need is just about as great. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. And you've helped out children before. We I remember you guys were here last year when you sponsored an Ethiopian child, is that right? The children. Uh that's More right. than one child, lots of kids. That's right. In a single day last year, we sponsored about 1,100 kids. Oh, my gosh. Until they're 18 years old. So it's an annual commitment from our listeners of about $450,000. And the feedback you're getting is? is wonderful. People really feel like we changed their lives as well as the lives of the kids that we sponsor. People don't realize how easy it is to make a difference in a kid's life. And we just have to ask them. That's why the Radiothon. If people just, if you ask, they'll do whatever you want them to do. That's amazing. That's so good that you, the community is reaching out. And Eric, you just got back from the Dominican Republic. Tell us about your trip. It was amazing because you look at poverty everywhere in the world. You know, you, you think about um, England or, or America or the Australia, and first world countries are all about the same. Just like third world countries are very similar too. You see the same sorts of things. But the difference is in the DR, people were more aware of the fact that they were in poverty. So it's almost like if you're losing your mind, it's worse if you know that you're losing your mind than if you're not aware at all. So it was sadder in some ways. And that's, well, you bring up a very interesting point because the saddest thing was that the poor are very aware of the disparity between the rich and the poor. Well, they see the luxury lifestyle on the coast of these countries so close by and people that are actually making uh, not just a living but able to feed their families and, and live. And then, then they are in country being so, so close and so far from being able to care for their families. That's where World Vision makes such a huge difference. And Eric, you went down there and you met a very special seven-year-old boy. Deweris. Uh, Deweris. Deweris. Mm -hmm. Deweris. Tell us yeah. about Deweris. Oh, he was so shy. And he was a child that his father left him when he was very young, and his mother died. So he doesn't have any brothers or sisters except for one sister. Lives with his grandmother. Yeah, that's him right there. And he, I, I was able to talk to him in Spanish. I knew enough high school Spanish that I could actually have a conversation with him. And the thing that was so cool is that I brought over some baseball equipment. And we, when he saw the new bat and the new ball and the new glove, he just lit up. Because he's still a kid, you That's know? Right. Children everywhere, whether they're rich or poor, they're still children. And you guys talk about how people um, are stepping forward to help. A lot of us think, well, how much do we have to give? And you guys are saying as little as a dollar a day can go so far. It's amazing right. how World Vision uses the resources made available to them. And for like pennies a day, 10 cents a day, they can get the medicine to every child that can make a difference in their life. It's just the smallest small pill can make a difference of life or death to these kids. And it's money we don't even consider when we spend it here at home. Right, and the rest of it is used for education, it's for health care, it's for food, and it's for clean water, which is the most important thing. A dollar a day, yeah. that is not it's much. It. Yeah, and they're so efficient because 87 cents of every dollar goes directly to aid. It's not for administration, it's the most efficient charity organization in the world. It's absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for being here, you guys, Thanks. and talking about the trip. We hope you get a lot of great feedback today. We will. We will. Again, the one day Radiothon benefit is this Wednesday on KZOK. That's 102.5 FM hosted by the Bob Rivers Show and World Vision and again they're asking listeners to sponsor a Dominican Re Republican child for about a dollar a day until that child reaches 18 and for more information on how you can donate and help numbers to call in the World Vision charity just go to our website comotv.com and click on hot links coming up next getting dirty